poorest countries in the world. No zero allows us to, to purchase sound systems which are used to. A short, uh, a short point, but I'm uh, happy. Okay, now I'm having a problem. La presentación de la iglesia en Guatemala. Nadie de nosotros sabe qué está pasando. God has a, he, his, his purpose is to, to bless all the nations with the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Warm greetings in the name of Jesus Christ on behalf of the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God Seventh Day Around the World. I'm your brother, John Classic. 2020 has been an absolutely amazing year with both terrible things that have happened and good things. And sometimes we focus on the, the terrible things that happened and rightly so, because it's affected our lives and those we love most. Today we are celebrating as one body, as a part of the body of Christ, God's good work among us to reflect salt and light into the world and we'll explore throughout today's service just what that means. Do you recall earlier this year the devastating fires here in Australia as well as the United States and in Europe that took life and property? Of course now we are familiar with the flooding in India and the terrible floods that are happening in Nigeria affecting the families of brothers and sisters in Christ there. All this, is, of course, is on the backdrop of COVID-19 that has really affected everyone living in our global community. Limited travel, we've experienced no travel restrictions within the IMC. We've seen government legislation prevent 
churches from assembly. We've never experienced that before. And of course, we see in a, in a, in a more secular society, anti-family, anti-marriage legislation creeping in, not only into, into government, but also into schools and into education. And you and I are in no doubt of the challenging times in which we live. But a lot of good things have been happening equally. We've seen brothers and sisters stand strong in the faith despite of adversity, loving one another more and seeking ways of assembly. House groups and house church groups have really been provided and proving to be extraordinary nurturing environments. And we've seen new leaders as a result emerge out of difficult situations. You and I have probably also benefited from the technological revolution that exists at our fingertips through live streaming, where many of our churches around the world benefit others in more isolated regions through translation and through live streaming of worship services. And through it all, through difficulty, we've seen more people give a testimony of their enduring focus and reliance on the Lordship of Jesus Christ as it plays out in our daily lives. Brothers and sisters, we are a Christ-centered church. Jesus is Lord and King, Redeemer and Saviour, and he, will be, he is the righteous judge. And so on that enduring rock, we, we stand and have our identity. And so the Church of God's Seventh Day around the world as we celebrate the IMC annual Sabbath, it's an opportunity to reflect on the ongoing work of the IMC. We are working around the world for doctrinal unity. We provide counsel for national board governance. We work towards ministry training, supporting our missionaries right around the world. One of the areas we're also involved is project development and what that looks like over the long term. At the centre of our work is evangelism, to go and share the good news and taste and see that the Lord is good. And I really appreciate all those involved in literature translation. Primarily, the Church of God Seventh Day speaks English and Spanish, but we also have French and Portuguese and Italian and many other languages. Today, we are breaking new ground in this stream, IMC Annual Sabbath. And I hope you enjoy the sense of diversity that we share, but also the unity in Christ. We are one body and we are united in Christ. And John describes Jesus, our Lord and Saviour, as being full of grace and truth. And this person, this embodiment of grace and truth says, I am the light of the world. And then Jesus confers that righteousness to us by saying, you are the light of the world. Elsewhere he says, you are the salt of the earth. What does that mean, brothers and sisters? Today, we'll explore that a little bit further. May we always reflect his light. May we always speak his words. May we be the preserving agents in this world full of grace and truth. And so we invite you now to join and celebrate in unison around the world. Paz, hermanos. Los saludo. Deseando que toda la iglesia en la redondez de la tierra se encuentre hoy participando de este culto especial y un culto donde nos unimos entre todos para reflexionar sobre las cosas que suceden en el mundo y también para edificarnos en su palabra y tener esta comunión. Dice en Hebreo capítulo 12, versículo 12 en adelante, por lo cual, levantad las manos caídas y las rodillas paralizadas y hacer sendas derechas para vuestros pies, para que lo poco no se salga del camino, sino que sea sanado. Seguid la paz con todos y la santidad sin la cual nadie verá al Señor. Vamos a orar. Señor y Padre que estás en los cielos, santificado sea tu nombre y hágase tu voluntad, Señor, en el cielo como así también en la tierra. Hoy, Señor, en este sábado especial dirigimos nuestra oración a ti porque tenemos necesidades de que tú estés obrando por medio de tu espíritu en tu iglesia en todas las redondas de la tierra. Hoy nos convocamos por distintos medios para participar de un culto en el cual el gran objetivo es reconocerte a ti como el Dios nuestro, como el Dios digno de adoración como Dios, Dios digno de alabanza. Pero 
también en Dios a quien invocamos para que tú respondas en favor de tu pueblo. En este tiempo donde nuestras limitantes por la pandemia se manifiestan, sabemos que la regularidad de nuestras reuniones para disfrutar la comunión no están siendo posible. Pero sí, Señor, por distintos medios nos hemos unido y queremos recibir de ti la respuesta en favor de aquellos que sufren, de nuestros hermanos que están afectados por la enfermedad del COVID-19. Queremos pedirte que tú sabes a aquellos que están afectados, pero que también consueles a los que ya han perdido algún ser querido. Que tú, Señor, también proveas donde la necesidad económica se ha agravado a consecuencia de la enfermedad. Y también pedirte que no exista impedimento para que la predicación de tu palabra, como va a ser en este día, todos los días que sea posible, pueda fluir para que sea alcanzado todo aquel que tiene necesidad de la salvación que tú nos regalaste por medio de Cristo Jesús. Señor, bendícenos en este tiempo de culto, bendice a quien predica, bendice a quienes nos guían por distintas formas y que todo este desarrollo del programa sea de bendición, pero también queremos que bendiga las manos de aquellos que van a ofrendar en este día en favor de la misión y la obra mundial, Señor. Hoy es un día donde vamos a recibir la ofrenda que tiene como finalidad apoyar al Congreso Ministerial Internacional a través de ella que sea multiplicada, que sea bien usada, que sea bien distribuida, que sea bien para el alcanzar las necesidades que tengan nuestros hermanos en distintos lugares. Por favor, Señor, también te pedimos por nuestros gobiernos, tanto los de nuestros países como los gobiernos de las iglesias en los distintos países. Los gobiernos, Señor, que tienen que ir guiando este tiempo con sabiduría que provenga de ti, para que todo sea de la mejor manera y la predicación de tu Evangelio pueda fluir de una forma maravillosa. Señor, en Cristo Jesús te lo pedimos, en Cristo Jesús esperamos y en Cristo Jesús estamos seguros de que tú harás de acuerdo a tu voluntad en favor nuestro. Amén.
Happy April Sabbath to you all. Pastor Prince and Saresh is singing the holy song at annual Sabbath time. About salt and light in our language Urdu. Words of Psalms You are the light of the world. Shine like a lamp. A city that sits on high hills. How can it be hidden? You are the light of the world. Shine like a lamp. Do not always do such things in this world. All of you deliver your Messiah. You are the light of the world. Shine like a lamp. God bless you all. Tum dunia te dur ho, charaat ban ke jum ko. Service. Be made rich, let those bearing us to 
journalists, international service who are blind receive their eyes open. Oh God of Israel, the church of God, seventh day, we are indeed rejoicing today for this privilege to have this service, for your glory and for your praise. I give you special thanks for the International Ministerial Congress. I give you special thanks for our leaders all over the world, all the national conference leaders. I give you thanks for them. I give you thanks for every member of this great church all over the world. And I pray, dear Lord, wherever we are, Jehovah, continue to teach us the mystery of being called the salt of our world, the mystery of being called the life of our world. Let our action, oh God, vindicate that name. Let our word, oh God, vindicate us, oh God of Israel, that the word through us may receive life. The word through us may receive consolation. The word through us may be sweet in Jehovah. God of heaven, many, many countries and many believers are going through difficult times. Some have got in their home, flooded. Some are coming from countries where there are so much of war, so much of killing. Oh God of Israel, intervene in your mercy. Intervene in your mercy. Save your children, oh God, from this wonderful and very disastrous generation. Save us, oh King of glory. Let your word, oh Jehovah, be unto us our rock and our defense. Lord Jehovah, Lord Jehovah, protect your children. Protect your children. Keep us safe from all harm. Keep us safe from all danger. Your word said, oh God of Israel, that the Lord is our shepherd. Be our shepherd. Be our shepherd. Your word said, oh God, lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from all evil. Jehovah today, I give you all the thanks and I give you all the praise. And I am very grateful. And I know the rest of the service today, you will take charge. You will take control. This I am the servant shall be a success. You will bless everyone that shall give unto your service. And Lord Jehovah, unto the end of all things, all the glory shall be given to you. Thank you for answered prayers. We are prayed in Jesus' name. Queridos hermanos en la fe de Cristo Jesús, les saludo con mucho cariño en esta tarde paz a vosotros. Beloved brothers in the faith of Jesus Christ, I salute you, I greet you with love in the name of Jesus. Damos gracias a Dios por la bendición que nos permite de estar reunidos en este día especial. We praise God for the opportunity that he is allowing us to be united in this very special day. Estamos celebrando el Día Mundial del Congreso. We are celebrating the World Uh, day of Congress. Y damos gracias a Dios por su misericordia que nos permite estos medios de comunicación. And we thank God for his mercy and allowing these mediums of communication. Deseamos de todo corazón que el culto de este día We desire with all of our heart that today's service sea una experiencia muy significativa para todos ustedes donde quiera que nos estén viendo. Be a very important service and opportunity wherever you are seeing us. Quiero agradecer la presencia del hermano Moisés Capetillo esta tarde con nosotros. I'd like to thank our brother Moisés Capetillo with us this afternoon. Ha viajado más de 500 millas para traducir este sermón. He has traveled over 500 miles to be here to translate this message. Muchas gracias, muy Dios te bendiga. Amen, hermano. Thank you. Bueno, el tema general de nuestro congreso en este año 2020. Our general theme for the congress in this year 2020. Es un tema que tiene que ver especialmente con la iglesia en las palabras de Cristo. Is a theme that has to do specifically with the church in the words of Christ. Porque el Señor afirma que la iglesia debe ser la sal de la tierra y la luz del mundo. Because our Lord Christ affirms that the church should be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Así es que hoy vamos a reforzar esta palabra de Dios. Today we are going to reinforce the word of God. Para que lleguemos a ser la iglesia que él espera que seamos. So that we may become the church that he is expecting. Así es que voy a leer para ustedes el contenido de Mateo capítulo 5 del verso 13 al verso 16. 
Therefore, we will be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13 through 16. Que es la base de nuestro lema para este servicio. That is the base of our theme for this message. El Señor Jesús dice así, hermanos. The Lord Jesus Christ says this way. Vosotros sois la sal de la tierra, y si la sal se desvaneciere, ¿con qué será salada? No vale más para nada, sino para ser echada fuera y hollada de los hombres. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and tampered under people's feet. Vosotros sois la luz del mundo. Una ciudad asentada sobre un monte no se puede esconder. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Ni se enciende una lámpara y se pone debajo del almud, mas sobre el candelero y alumbra a todos los que están en casa. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all those that are in the house. Y termina diciendo, Así alumbre vuestra luz delante de los hombres para que vean vuestras obras buenas y glorifiquen a vuestro Padre que está en los cielos. Verse 16 says, In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Amen. Eso es lo que debemos ser como iglesia. Amen. This is what we should be as a church. Bueno, todos sabemos, hermanos, que las palabras que hemos leído son parte del Sermón del Monte. We all know, brothers, that the words that we've read are a piece of the Sermon on the Mount. Y cuando hablamos de este sermón, estamos hablando del sermón más largo pronunciado por Cristo registrado en la Biblia. When we talk about this sermon, we talk about the sermon that is of longer length that is registered in the Bible. El contenido del sermón es realmente insuperable. It is insurmountable what this message contains. No hay ninguna filosofía humana, ninguna clase de ética que pueda superar el contenido de este mensaje. There is not a single human philosophy or ethic that can supersede the message that is found. Para este sermón, Jesús asciende como Moisés lo hizo cuando subió al Sinaí. For this sermon, Jesus extends the mount the way Moses did when he ascended Mount Sinai. Pero a diferencia de Moisés, que solo escuchó, But the difference is that Moses only listened. Jesús habla como Dios. Jesus speaks as God. Porque Jesús es el Hijo del Hombre y el Hijo de Dios. Because Jesus is the Son of Man and the Son of God. Y lo que va a decir en este sermón And what he's going to say in this sermon es de un profundo significado para la vida de los creyentes. Is of a profound significance in the life of the believers. El sermón comienza con las bienaventuranzas. The sermon begins with the beatitudes. Las bienaventuranzas son los nuevos criterios, los nuevos valores en el reino de Dios. The beatitudes are the new criteria, the new values in the kingdom of God. Y enseguida, Jesús pronuncia la metáfora que hemos leído. And just after, Jesus gives the metaphor that we've now read. Una metáfora es una figura de retórica. A Metaphor is a rhetoric que Jesús usó con mucha frecuencia. that Jesus utilized very frequently era parte y es parte de el de because it was part and continues to be part of the vocabulary of any teacher. Y la interpretación de la metáfora and the interpretation of this Uh, metaphor consiste en eh, reconocer las cosas de una cosa para transportarlas a otra. It consists in understanding the elements of one thing and transferring them to another. La metáfora está dirigida en primer lugar a los discípulos y a la gente del tiempo de Cristo. The metaphor is first directed to the disciples and the people of those days. Pero en general, y por ser palabra de Dios también para todos nosotros. But in general, and because it is the word of God, it is also for all of us. Porque la palabra de Dios es viva y eficaz. Because the word of God is alive and edifying. Y puede tener diferentes aplicaciones a través de la historia. And it can have many applications throughout story. Así es que hoy tenemos delante de nosotros estas dos comparaciones. Therefore today we have before us two comparisons. En donde Cristo afirma que la iglesia es la sal de la tierra y la luz del mundo. Where Jesus affirms that the church is the salt of the earth and the light of the earth. Ahora lo primero que quiero llamar su atención. Now the first thing that I'd like to attract your attention to. Es para que podamos notar que no se habla de la iglesia en relación con sí misma. 
is that the church is not being spoken of in relation with itself. Es decir, la iglesia no es sal para ella misma. It is to say that the church is not salt for in it of themselves. Tampoco es luz para la misma iglesia. Nor is it light for the church. La iglesia es sal para la tierra y luz para el mundo. The church is salt for the earth and light for the world. Es una iglesia que debe vivir para los demás. It is a church that should live for others. Una iglesia en favor del prójimo. It is a church that should live in favor en of the others. En favor de los inconversos. Those that are unbelievers. De los enfermos. That are sick. De los marginados. That are marginalized. Porque una iglesia que vive para sí misma. Because a church that lives in it for themselves. No es ni sal, ni luz, ni iglesia, ni nada. It is not Salt, or light, or a church, or anything. Solo es un triste club social de gente bien. It is only a sad social club of nice people. Y en este tiempo no necesitamos solamente gente bien. And in these days, we don't need just nice people. Necesitamos que la iglesia cumpla con la expectativa que Dios tiene de ella. We need the church to abide by the expectation that Christ has of it. Hermanos, ser iglesia es un gran privilegio. Brothers, to be a church is a great privilege. A la luz de esta metáfora. To the light of this metaphor. Ser luz del mundo y sal de la tierra. To be a light of the a light of the world and salt of the earth. Es un honor. Is an honor. Pero también es una gran responsabilidad. But it is also a great responsibility. Vamos al análisis del texto. Let us go to the analysis of the text. El primero de ellos es vosotros sois la sal de la tierra. The first is you are the salt of the earth. Entonces, vamos a revisar brevemente cuáles son las propiedades de la sal. So then let us look briefly at what the properties of salt are. Y una vez que las reconozcamos, and once we recognize these, tenemos que aplicarlas a nosotros como iglesia. Then we need to apply them to us as a church. Y entre las varias cosas, and amongst the many things, que tiene la sal, that salt has, vamos a decir en primer lugar, let us say, in first place, que es un excelente sazonador de alimento. That it is an excellent seasoner of food. La sal impregna con su sabor todo lo que toca. Salt impregnates with flavor anything that it touches. Aún un pequeño granito de sal. Even a small grain of salt. En la punta de la lengua. At the tip of a tongue. Impregna con su sabor todo el paladar. Impregnates with its flavor all of the taste buds. Jesús, hermanos, impregnó con su presencia la vida insípida de la gente de su tiempo. Jesus impregnated with his presence the dull life of the people of his times. Y también impregnó nuestra propia vida. And he also impregnated our life. Cuando nosotros fuimos convertidos al Evangelio, When we were converted to the gospel, nuestra vida tuvo sentido a partir de ese momento. Our life had meaning after that moment. Antes de conocer a Cristo, vivíamos en la vanidad de nuestro sentido. Before knowing Christ, we were living in the vanity of our thoughts. Sin Dios y sin esperanza en este mundo. Without God and without hope in this world. Pero Jesús llegó a nuestra vida. But Jesus came to our life. Y le dio sentido. And he gave it flavor. Número dos. Number two. La sal es un conservador de alimentos. Salt is a conservative of food. En el tiempo antiguo que no había refrigeradores o hieleras. In previous times where there was no refrigerators or coolers. La carne se impregnaba con este preservador. Meat would be impregnated with this preservative. Y entonces evitaba la descomposición de la carne. And then it would prevent the decomposition of the meat. Jesús, hermanos, ha hecho posible la pers preservación de la raza humana. Jesus has made possible the preservation of the human race. Si no fuera por el evangelio, ¿quién sabe qué sería de nosotros, hermanos? If it were not for the gospel, who knows what would be of us, brothers? Porque el pecado corrompe. Because sin corrupts. Hace una labor de putrefacción. It makes a work of uh, petrifying. Descomposición. Decomposition. Y de hecho lo podemos ver todos los días en la sociedad en medio de la cual vivimos. And therefore we can see it every day in the society that we are living in. Cada vez nos sorprendemos menos porque cada vez hay más pecado y más descomposición. Every day we are surprised less because there is more sin and more decomposition. Como que nos estamos acostumbrando. Almost as if we are becoming used to. Pero la verdad hermanos es que Nosotros tenemos la responsabilidad 
de conservar a la especie humana con el Evangelio de Cristo. But the truth is, brothers, that we have the responsibility to preserve the human race with the gospel of Christ. La sal tiene otra propiedad. Salt has one more property. Su color es blanco y simbólicamente representa la santidad. Its color is white and symbolically it represents holiness. Jesús fue un hombre íntegro. Jesus was a man of integrity. Dice el apóstol Pedro que ni aun en su boca fue hallado, en, fue hallado engaño. Apostle Peter says that in his mouth was never found deceit. Y por supuesto, Cristo es nuestro ejemplo supremo. And of course, Jesus is our supreme example. Somos llamados como iglesia a tener una vida de santidad. We are called as a church to have a life of holiness. De pureza. Purity. De integridad. Of integrity. En nuestras relaciones familiares. In our relationships in the family. En nuestras relaciones sociales. In our social relationships. Y en general, en cualquier relación humana. And in general, in any relationship with humans. Pero otra cosa muy importante. But one more very important thing. Es que la sal solo funciona si entra en contacto con los alimentos. Is that salt only functions if it becomes in contact with the food. No en el salero, por más fino que este sea. Not in the salt shaker, regardless of how fine that instrument might be. Podemos tener una sal de excelente calidad. We can have a salt of excellent quality. En un salero de cristal cortado. Perhaps in a cut crystal vase. Quizá con tapa de oro. Perhaps with a gold lid. Pero ahí no, no cumple su función. But in this manner, it is not fulfilling its function. Es necesario que salga. It needs to come out. Y entre en contacto. And become in contact. Con los alimentos. With the food. Bueno, eh, muchas veces los cristianos nos conformamos con nuestra vida religiosa dentro del templo. It is like this as many Christians become comforted by the fact of living a Christian life within the church. Y no quiero decir que esté mal del todo. And I'm not trying to say that in everything it is wrong. Tenemos un día para alimentarnos. We have a day to be fed. Escuchar la palabra. To hear the word. Celebrar la salvación. To celebrate our salvation. Dar testimonio. Give our testimony. Y muchas otras cosas más. And many other things. Pero la verdad es que nuestra principal función. But the truth is, is that our primary function. Está afuera del templo. Is outside of the temple. La segunda parte del versículo 3. The second part of verse 13. Dice la palabra de Dios, pero si la sal se desvaneciere, no sirve para nada, sino para ser echada fuera y hollada de los hombres. It says, but if salt should lose its taste, how shall it be salted, restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by the feet of men. Y esto tiene que ver, hermanos, con nuestro comportamiento, con nuestra perseverancia en la fe cristiana. And this has to do with our behavior, with persevering in the Christian faith. Porque un creyente que abandona su fe, hermanos, ha perdido el sentido propio de su vida. Because a believer that abandons their faith has lost the value of their life. Y no solo eso, sino que también se convierte en una piedra de tropiezo. Not only that, but that person can also become a stumbling stone. Porque si alguien abandona la fe, because if somebody abandons their faith, entonces lo que está diciendo es que el evangelio no tiene poder. Then what he is saying is that the gospel has no power. Porque él estuvo ahí, pero no ha perseverado más. Because he was there, but he was not able to persevere. Y quienes lo conozcan, difícilmente pueden creer en el evangelio. And whoever knows him, would have a hard time believing in the gospel. Por eso es muy importante perseverar. This is why it is important to no persevere. No importa que la estemos pasando mal. Regardless if we are having a bad time. En medio de los problemas y tribulaciones. Amongst problems and tribulations. Cristo dijo el que perseverare hasta el fin, este será salvo. Christ said he that perseveres to the end will be saved. Vamos con la segunda metáfora. Now let's go into the second metaphor. Jesús le dice a la iglesia, vosotros sois la luz del mundo. Jesus tells the church, you are the light of the world. Y así como la sal, también la luz tiene sus propiedades. And just as salt, light also has its properties. Ahora, una de las principales propiedades es la velocidad a la que viaja la luz. Now, one of its primary properties is the speed at which light travels. No es que sea muy rápida o muy veloz. It's not that it is very fast or quick. Es mucho más que eso. It's much more than that. 
la luz viaja a una velocidad de 299,792 kilómetros por segundo. Light travels at 299,792 kilómetros por segundo. En números redondos se dice que la luz viaja a 300,000 kilómetros por segundo. En round numbers it is said that light travels at 300 Thousand kilometers per second. Nadie ni nada puede viajar más rápido que la luz. Nothing and no one can travel faster than light. Jesús, nuestro Señor, hermanos. Jesus Christ, our Lord, brothers. Durante su ministerio. Through his ministry. Y ante la necesidad de los seres humanos. And facing the needs of human beings. Siempre actuó con rapidez. Always acted with speed. Y ese es uno de los problemas que como iglesia ahora enfrentamos. And that is one of the problems that as a church today we confront. Que nuestra respuesta muchas veces es demasiado lenta. That our answer many times is incredibly slow. Llegamos tarde. We're late. Y por lo tanto no representamos una solución. And therefore we cannot present a solution. Esto nos hace reflexionar acerca de lo que estamos haciendo. This makes us reflect to what we are doing. Y qué tan rápido estamos actuando. And how fast are we acting? Porque Jesús actuó de manera rápida. Because Jesus acted quickly. Jesús dijo, heme aquí, envíame a mí. Jesus said, here I am, send me. Y también dice en el Evangelio, entre tanto que estoy en el mundo, luz soy del mundo. And he also says in the Gospels, so long as I am in the world, I am light of the world. Y me conviene obrar entre tanto que el día dura. And it is convenient for me to operate so long as the day is Lasting. Porque la noche viene cuando nadie puede obrar. Because night is coming when nobody will be able to act. Ahora estas palabras que estamos citando de memoria. Now these words that we are reciting out of memory. Están registradas en el Evangelio de Juan capítulo 9. Are registered in the book of John chapter 9. Porque Jesús llega a cierto lugar con sus discípulos. Because Jesus arrives at a certain place with his disciples. Y los discípulos ven a un hombre ciego. And the disciples see a blind man. Y le preguntan, Señor, ¿quién pecó, este o sus padres, para que naciera ciego? And they ask Jesus, who sinned, him or his parents, so that he may be born blind? Y esa es muchas veces la actitud de nosotros como iglesia. And that is many times the attitude of the church. Igual que los discípulos, queremos hacer un análisis. Just like the disciples, we want to make an analysis. Queremos encontrar los culpables. We want to find who's fault o los responsables de esta situación or the responsible party for the situation y a veces eh, la aspiración simplemente es hacer teología and many times the inspiration just comes to become theologians pero la teología no funciona but theology does not function a menos que se aplique unless it's applied y nosotros sabemos bastante biblia and we know plenty bible sabemos mucha teología we know a lot of theology el problema es que no siempre la aplicamos the problem is that we don't always apply it por eso Jesús le responde a los discípulos de esa manera. This is why Jesus responded to his disciples this way. No es que este haya pecado o sus padres. It's not that this one sinned or his parents. Es como un regaño para ellos. He's, they're almost being scolded. Es como, es como si les dijera, andan mal en Biblia. It's almost like him telling them, you guys are wrong biblically. Andan mal en teología. You got, your theology is wrong. Están interpretando mal la realidad. You're interpreting incorrectly what is reality. Esta es una oportunidad que tenemos. This is an opportunity that we have para hacer la obra de Dios to do the work of God y entonces pronuncia las palabras que hemos citado and then he pronounces the words that we have cited entre tanto que estoy en el mundo so long as I am in the world luz soy del mundo I am light of the world y me conviene obrar entre tanto que el día dura and it is convenient for me to keep acting while it is still day porque la noche viene cuando nadie puede obrar because night is coming and no one can work y una vez que dijo eso and once this was said el Señor puso su manos a la obra. Jesus put his hands to work. Tomó un poco de polvo de la tierra. He took some dirt from the ground. Lo mezcló con su saliva. He mixed it with saliva. Fue con el ciego. He went with the blind man. Le ungió los párpados. He anointed his eyes. Y le dijo, ve y lávate en el estanque de Bethesda. He, he told him, go <laughs> wash yourself in the water of Bethesda. Y sucedió el milagro. And the miracle happened. 
Tenemos que actuar así, hermanos. We have to act this way, brothers. Lo más rápido que sea posible. As quickly as possible. Es un gran problema de la iglesia hoy en día. It is a great problem of the church today. Vivir en medio de una burocracia administrativa. To live in an administrative bureaucracy. En tanto que la gente está pereciendo. So long as people are dying. Así es que este es uno de los aspectos que nosotros debemos de incorporar. Therefore, this is one of the aspects that we should embody. Y hay otra razón para eso, hermanos. And There's another reason for this. Y la razón es el pecado. And the reason is sin. El pecado sí viaja rápido. Sin travels fast. Quizá no como la luz, pero sí rápido. Perhaps not as fast as light, but it does travel Porque fast. Porque una vez que se introdujo en Adán y Eva. Because once it was introduced in Adam and Eve. Ahí ha pasado a todos los seres humanos de todas las épocas. It has been dispersed to all humans in all eras. Hace muchos años. Many years ago. Visité yo el estado de Chiapas. I visited the the state of Chiapas en el sur de México south part of Mexico a una comunidad de indígenas to a community of indigenous people es una sierra muy alta it is a very high mountain y el camino es de terracería and the, and the road is a dirt road va uno al, alrededor de la montaña en medio de precipicios you're going around the mountain to the side of a fall y cuando yo iba caminando and pensaba I, en esto and as I was walking I was thinking of this a quien se le ocurrió predicar el evangelio acá <laughs> Who ever thought of preaching the gospel over here? ¿Por qué tenemos una iglesia tan lejos? Why do we have a church so far? Pero no habían pasado ni cinco minutos. But it had not been five minutes. Cuando me di cuenta de la respuesta. When I realized the answer. Personas tiradas en el camino. People were laying down on the road. Embriagadas. Drunk. Vimos también un conflicto entre indígenas. We saw a conflict un pleito within entre the people, comunidades. Within the community, por medio del cual difícilmente pudimos pasar. Through which we had to struggle to get through. Y ahí está la respuesta, hermanos. And there's the answer, brothers. El pecado está en todas partes. Sin is everywhere. Más que incluso el coronavirus. Even more so than coronavirus. Si el coronavirus es una pandemia. If coronavirus is a pandemic. Y está prácticamente en todos los países. And it's practically in every nation. El pecado está en el rincón más remoto de este mundo. Sin is in the most remote corner of this world. Donde quiera que hay un hombre. Wherever there is a man. O una mujer. Or a woman. Ahí está el pecado. Sin is there. Por eso debemos de actuar rápidamente. This is why we need to act swiftly. Ahora, número dos. Number two. La luz ilumina todo lo que toca. Light illuminates everything that it touches. No importa qué tan oscuro sea el lugar. It doesn't matter how dark that place Una is. Una vez que llega la luz, se ilumina. As soon as light touches it, it is illuminated. Como por la mañana cuando corremos las persianas de una ventana. As like in the morning when we run the blinds y si of el, a window. Y si el sol ya salió. And if the sun is out. La luz penetra, ilumina toda nuestra habitación. The light penetrates and it illuminates all of our house. Jesús, hermanos, Jesus, my brothers, iluminó el mundo en el que vivimos. Illuminated the world in which we live in. Y lo sigue haciendo. And he continues to do it. Él es la luz verdadera que alumbra a todos los hombres. He is the true light that illuminates all men. El problema es que los hombres amamos más las tinieblas que la luz. The problem is that as men we love the darkness more than the light. Pero nosotros somos llamados a vivir en la luz. However, we are called to live in the light. Y a compartir la luz. And to share the light. Es lo que dice el apóstol Pedro. This is what the apostle Peter says. Vosotros sois linaje escogido, real sacerdocio. You are a chosen lineage, a, a true priesthood. Gente santa, pueblo adquirido por Dios. Holy nation and acquired by God. Para anunciar las virtudes de aquel. To proclaim the virtues. Que los llamó de las tinieblas a la luz admirable. Of that that called you from darkness to Admirable light. Así es que ahí está nuestro compromiso, hermano. So there is our compromise. Iluminar nuestras relaciones. Our responsibility is to illuminate our relationships. Que podamos llevar no nuestra propia luz. To not take our own light. Sino la luz del evangelio de Cristo. But the light of the gospel of Jesus. A donde quiera que vayamos. Wherever we go. Número tres. Number three. La luz también tiene beneficios para la salud. The light also contains benefits for our health. Está comprobado científicamente que la luz solar it is scientifically proven that sunlight combate la depresión, combats depression, fortalece el sistema óseo, 
Strengthens your skeletal system. El sistema inmunológico. Strengthens your immune system. Ayuda en el metabolismo de los alimentos. Helps metabolism. Y regula el ritmo cardíaco. And it regulates your cardiac rhythm. Para establecer lo que se conoce como el reloj corporal. To establish what we know as our corporal clock. Es decir, si una persona toma suficiente luz durante el día. It is to say that if a person takes in enough sunlight. Tiene más probabilidades de tener un buen reposo en la noche. Has a better probability of having a restful evening. Lo vemos en el reino animal. We see it in the animal kingdom. Como la luz del sol va regulando el reloj de todos los seres vivos. How the... Light from the sun is regulating all of the life that is in Hay the muchas earth. propiedades en favor de la salud por causa de la luz solar. There are many properties in favor of our health because of sunlight. Bueno, el evangelio es por naturaleza terapéutico. Therefore, the gospel by nature is therapeutic. La fe cristiana es así, hermanos, terapéutica. Christian faith is this way, Jesús therapeutic. Jesús sanó a muchos enfermos. Jesus healed many sick. Y a toda la persona que lo siguió la hizo sentir bien. And all of the people that followed him, they felt well. Y esa es la experiencia que nosotros tenemos también. And that is the experience that we have as well. ¿Cuántas veces simplemente al cantar un himno nos sentimos bien? How many times just by singing a hymn, we feel better? O a veces en una oración. Or maybe in a prayer. O también en un mensaje. Or in a message. Cuando escuchamos la palabra de Dios. When we are listening to the word of God. Sentimos un calor dentro de nuestro cuerpo. We feel a warmth inside of us. Nuestra piel se pone eriza. Our skin gets goosebumps. Es una sensación de bienestar. It is a sense of well-being. Cuando terminamos nuestro servicio. When we finish our service. Nos sentimos bien. We feel well. Quizá un poco cansados físicamente. Perhaps a little bit tired physically. Pero mental, espiritual y emocionalmente nos sentimos bien. However, mental, uh, emotional and spiritual, we feel well. Por la luz del evangelio. Due to the light of the gospel. Ahora, la otra parte de los versos 15 y 16 que estamos analizando. Now the other part of verses 15 and 16 that we are analyzing. Se afirma que nadie enciende una lámpara y la pone debajo de una mesa. It is affirmed that nobody turns on a lamp and puts it under a table. Sino que el candelero lo coloca encima para que alumbre a todos los que están en casa. But rather we take that candle stick and we put it on top so that everybody in the household can receive it. Esto también nos enseña cómo debemos conducirnos. This is also teaching us how we should behave. Nunca avergonzarnos del evangelio. Never to be embarrassed of the gospel. Nunca esconder nuestro cristianismo. Never to hide our Christianism. Al contrario, descubrir como cristianos. But the, all the opposed to be found as Christians. Para que la gente pueda también venir a nosotros. So that people can also come to us. Y tener un poco de luz en medio de sus tinieblas. And to have just a little bit of light within their darkness. Y Cristo Jesús termina diciendo en el verso 16. And Jesus Christ finishes by saying in verse 16. Así alumbre vuestra luz. Let your light so shine delante de los hombres before men para que vean vuestras buenas obras y glorifiquen a vuestro Padre Celestial so, que está en los cielos. So they may see your good works and glorify your heavenly Father that is in heaven. Hermanos, Jesús quiere que nosotros seamos como Él. Brothers, Jesus Christ wants us to be like Him. Porque Él es el único medio por el cual el ser humano puede obtener la salvación. Because He is the only medium through which The human beings can obtain salvation. Él es la luz del mundo. He is the light of the world. Y somos llamados a ser también luz del mundo. And we are also called to be light of the world. Vamos a la aplicación práctica para concluir nuestro mensaje en esta tarde, hermanos. Let us move to a practical application as we conclude our message this evening. Y tenemos dos aplicaciones. And we have two applications. Una que tiene que ver con la sal. One that has to do with salt. Y otra que tiene que ver con la luz. And another that has to do with light. Número uno. Number Como one, iglesia somos llamados para dar sabor a la vida insípida de la gente que nos rodea. As a church, we are called to give flavor to the flavorless lives of people that are around us. Piense usted en esto. Think of this. Sus amigos, sus vecinos. Your friends, your neighbors. A veces su familia que no está convertida. Perhaps your family that is not converted. ¿Cómo son? ¿Cómo están viviendo? How are they? How do they live? ¿No es acaso en medio de quejas? Is it not through... Um, complaints, de tristeza, sadness, de incertidumbre, and sure, de temores, fear. Pues, 
realmente son vidas insípidas. It really is a flavorless life. Bueno, somos llamados a dar sabor. Well, we are called to give flavor. Para generar vida, consuelo, to, esperanza. To generate life, comfort, and hope. Somos llamados a vivir también en santidad. We are also called to live in holiness. Y la santidad, hermano, no significa aburrimiento, ni mucho menos. And we are, holiness doesn't mean boredom, or much less. Al contrario, la santidad produce alegría en nosotros. But in the contrary, holiness produces happiness Porque el Espíritu Santo confirma que somos hijos de Dios. Because the Holy Spirit confirms that we are now children of God. Y además... Estamos siendo lo que Dios quiere que seamos. And furthermore, we are doing what God wants us to Así es do. que tenemos muchas razones para estar alegres. Therefore, we have many reasons to be happy. Hemos sido alcanzados por Cristo. We have been reached by Christ. Hemos sido perdonados de nuestros pecados. We have been forgiven of our sins. Tenemos la salvación. We have salvation. Y la vida eterna prometida. And a promise of eternal life. Aparte de la comunidad de fe. Even more, the community of faith. Y todo lo que implica nuestra vida en Cristo. And everything that our life in Christ Tenemos muchos motivos para celebrar. We have many reasons to celebrate. Somos bendecidos gracias a Dios. We are blessed, Dios. thank God. Y esto debemos de compartirlo. And this should be shared. Para que las personas que están en tinieblas, so that the people that are in darkness, que están con una vida insípida, that are with a flavorless life, puedan recibir esta medicina, can receive this medicine, llamada evangelio. That is called gospel. Para su completa transformación. For their complete transformation. Y número dos, hermanos. And number two, my brothers. Como iglesia somos llamados a iluminar el mundo de tinieblas en medio del cual vivimos. As a church, we are called to eliminate the world of darkness in which we live in. La iglesia, hermanos, no está aquí en el mundo para quejarse. The church is not here in the world to complain about what happens. Si no estamos aquí para mostrar que hay otra opción de vida al alcance de todos. Rather, we are here to demonstrate that there is another option of life at everybody's reach. No estamos aquí para repetir lo mal que estamos. We're not here to repeat how bad we are. O repitiendo las malas noticias que pasan en televisión. Or to repeat the bad news that we hear on television. O en cualquier otro medio de comunicación. Or in any other means of communication. No estamos aquí para eso. That is not what we're here to do. Somos iglesia para transformar al ser humano. We are a church to transform human beings. Y para transformar el medio ambiente en donde él vive. And to transform the community in which we live in. Eso es lo que hizo Cristo Jesús. That is what Jesus Christ did. Transformó la realidad de aquel ciego de nacimiento. He transformed the reality of that blind man from birth. Transformó la realidad de aquella mujer con flujo de sangre. He transformed the reality of the man, of the woman with a with blood. Personas stream. enfermas, personas débiles. The people that were weak and sick. Personas marginadas. People that were marginalized. Como Jesús también transformó la vida de Saqueo. As Jesus Christ also transformed the life of Zacchaeus. Que estaba afirmada en cuestiones materiales. That was affirmed in things that were material. Pero igualmente en medio de tinieblas. But even greater in the middle of darkness. Y así Jesús transformó la vida de hombres y mujeres. And in this way Jesus transformed the lives of men and de women. De todos aquellos que vinieron a él. Of all those that came to him. Jesús nunca rechazó a nadie. Jesus never pushed away anybody. En todo caso, los fariseos excluyeron ellos solos. In any case, the Pharisees were, they excluded themselves. Así es que, hermanos, somos llamados a iluminar. Therefore, my brothers, we are called to illuminate. Para que la gente conozca la verdad. So that the people may know the truth. Y abandone las tinieblas de la ignorancia y de la mentira. And leave behind the darkness of ignorance and lies. Somos llamados para iluminar las relaciones humanas. We are called to eliminate re human relationships. Muchas de las cuales están torcidas por el egoísmo. Many of which are twisted due to selfishness. Por la desigualdad. By unrighteousness. Por la marginación. By marginalization. Y por el pecado. And by sin. Pero ninguna de estas cosas But not a single one of these es invencible. Is, uh, insurmountable. El apóstol Pablo dice, todo lo puedo en Cristo que me fortalece. Apostle Paul says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Y esta expresión está dada en el ámbito espiritual. And this expression is given to us in the spiritual realm. No se refiere a logros materiales. It doesn't mean or doesn't refer to accomplishing things in the material world. A cuestiones temporales de esta vida. Things that are temporary in this world. Se refiere a aspectos verdaderamente importantes. It refers to aspects that are truly important. 
important. Aquello que trasciende esta vida. Those things that transcend this life. Y que apunta a la vida eterna. And that points us to eternal life. Todo lo puedo en Cristo que me fortalece. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens Porque me. Porque Cristo es la luz del mundo. Because Christ is the light of the world. Y somos llamados a llevar esa luz al mundo de tinieblas. And we are called to take this world to the world of darkness. Es mi oración, hermanos, que como iglesia en todo el mundo, it is my prayer that as a church throughout the entire world, cumplamos con la expectativa que Dios tiene para nosotros. That we will fulfill the expectation that Christ has for us. Que seamos la luz del mundo. That we may be the light of the world. Y la sal de la tierra. And the salt of the earth. Que Dios los bendiga. May God bless you. Greetings of peace, dear brothers and sisters. It's a real pleasure to join you on this special day. As you may know, the Church of God's Seventh Day is active and has a presence in more than 60 countries throughout the world. And our main objective is to share the good news of Jesus Christ and to be that salt and light that Jesus Christ commanded us to be. Through the International Ministerial Congress and its member nations, uh, missionaries, training conferences, development projects, disaster relief, uh, media and more are impacting lives. Key areas that IMC resources support are training in leadership, evangelism, and discipleship, uh, conference development and infrastructure, uh, mentoring leadership, and translation and more. We therefore want to invite you to join and participate in this year's IMC Sabbath theme, which is salt and light. Jesus Christ, of course, is, this, is the light, and we are his body, representing him on this earth, uh, with many diverse uh, talents and, and gifts. This year, our goal is $100,000, and with your support, that will allow us to continue to expand our ability to, to imp reach new parts of the world, um, support leadership in their work of evangelism, and to most importantly bring people to know Jesus Christ, who have yet not heard the good news. There are two ways to donate. One is to earmark your offering IMC and send that through your local church or through your national office. The second way that you can make a donation is through the IMC website, which is imc.cog7.org, and click Donate. This month of November is designated uh, for supporting the International Ministry of Congress. And through your generous support, let us celebrate our unity in Christ. Amen. Greetings to you all from Midbrook Church and God's Seven Day for the upcoming IMC Special Sabbath Day. We would like to present a song with our orphans, although we would like to do it in a formal, regular Sabbath service, but it is not possible due to the pandemic. The song that we are going to present is about the second coming of Jesus Christ. The meaning of this, the song goes like this. 
we have a firm promise of Jesus Christ that he will return after preparing a room for us. That promise is coming to fulfill very soon as the world approaching towards its end. So we prepare for that day. That's the meaning of the song. Here it goes. wonderful day of celebration and praise and the unique reminder of the calling to be like salt, preserving agents of grace and truth in this world and to shine the light of Jesus Christ in our homes, in our families, in our communities as a powerful witness to all the world. So we have a, a lot to be grateful for today. And finally, as we close services, will you join me in prayer as we give God the glory? Our Father in heaven, all praise and glory and honour belong to you for your good work in us through Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for today's celebration and we recognise, God, your handiwork in our lives as you mould and shape our fellowship and our broader church community more in the image and stature of Jesus Christ. 
And Father, you've called us and you've drawn us to your Son, who has loved us, who has equipped us, and placed us, Father, in his body. And so, Father, we are equipped, Father, with all that we could ever need, and you sustain us with the bread of life in Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, thank you for the richness of this fellowship that we share in. Thank you, Father, for the light of Christ, today magnified and shining brighter from within us as we become more Christ-centered. Father, thank you for encouragement. Thank you for the certain hope that you give to us and the great peace that we experience in this world. Father, may we truly be become preserving agents of your grace and truth in a world desperately needing its Saviour. Father, help us to shine your light and to reflect your grace and truth in everything we say and do. Father, today we've been reminded and we are grateful for the things to which you've called us to be a part of this body of Christ amidst different languages and cultures and ethnicity and time zones, that we may truly be one body, one faith, one people, serving one Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who's our Saviour, our Lord, our King, our righteous judge and best friend. Father, we acknowledge those faithful men and women who serve among us, who seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, and as good stewards of the grace that you've yielded them, help us, Father, to stand alongside these saints, being willing ourselves to also serve. Father, we pray for those throughout our fellowship that you'd keep us all from evil and that you'd grant us favour and strength to live in an age that's quite foreign to your kingdom values and promises. Father, we bring before you our pastors, our leaders, our overseers, that you'd sustain them and encourage them and grant them the strength and the tenacity and the wisdom and the grace to fulfil their responsibilities. Father, we pray that you'd bless and strengthen our families, that that our homes may truly reflect the Lordship of Jesus Christ in every way. Father, we also bring before you our youth, and we ask for your protection and sustenance as they grow and mature in Jesus Christ. Father, keep us all from temptation, and let us eat always of the bread of life. Father, we thank you, Father, that you have equipped us and have called us and reminded us of this high calling in Christ. So we pray, Father, for a greater capacity and greater opportunity in proclaiming and living the gospel message in our tenure and in our stewardship, that many more people can experience the joy of salvation found only in Jesus. Father, today we stand in awe of you, O holy and righteous Father, in our praises, in our thanksgiving, in our petitions that we bring before you, We thank you for hearing us and we bring these before you in the mighty name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.